Hey friends and welcome back to Board Game Spotlight. I am Stephanie and my channel is Minimum Player Count. Today we are doing an overview of Crosswords. This is a game by Indie Boards and Cards. So without further ado, let's take a look at Crosswords. In Crosswords, you will be getting this plastic insert here that is gonna be used to help you set up the game. Now, when you set up the game, there are four different stacks of cards that they come with. So there are the green cards, which are proper nouns, the blue cards, which are things, the red cards, which are miscellaneous, and then the white cards, which kind of sets up the board for the whole game. So when you flip over a card, you will see that on the top and on the sides, it has colors, and it also gives you a rule for that specific game. So this one, every word has to start with the letter L. Now, when you set up, you will take this board and you will place this on the side. So it will tell you how to actually set up. So you'll be picking a red card for here, a red card for here, and then a green card that will go in the middle and on the bottom. So when you flip over the cards, they will also give you specific things that you also have to follow. So in this case would be band names, starting with the letter L, and then if you selected another card, for this one, it has to contain A, B, and C. So this game can be pretty difficult and it's also kind of a time crunch because you're trying to beat your other competitors in this game. So when you start the game, each person will get a round of discs and their color dry erase marker so they can write their answers on there. When you write your answer, that little disc will go into that space on that board so you know that that is where you're just gonna be trying to score points for. When one person uses all their discs in one game, that is the end of that round and everyone will start revealing the discs, what is written on them to score points. Now, if there are multiple of the same answer, those nullify each other, so we're looking for unique answers for each one. Now, in this game, there are special considerations to think of that will help you when playing this game. Hononyms are actually encouraged in this game, and if you don't know what a hononym is, two words that sound and are spelled the same. Now, if you had a category of, say, plants and animals, and the other one saying music or bands, if you put the beetles, obviously you mean beetles as in the animal and beetles as in the band. So that actually works for those two categories. Also allowed in this game are answers within an answer. So if you're looking at say places in the USA and you're also looking at cartoon characters as your two categories, Yosemite Sam would work because Yosemite is a place and Yosemite Sam is a cartoon character. And another consideration for this game is words within words. So if one of your categories was boys' names and the other category was a color, if you put Fred, Fred meets the criteria for boys' names and because red is within the word Fred, it meets the criteria for the other card. So that is also pretty cool in this game that you can do those kinds of things that makes you think a little bit more in depth because some of these categories are pretty hard when you have them placed together. Um, in this game, once somebody reaches seven points, that is the end of the game and the winner takes all. You are really trying to be quick, clever, and really utilize your time wisely while playing this game, but trying not to let the pressure get to you because other players are trying to finish their words as quickly as possible, and you're trying to make sure you try to use all of your discs because, like I said, if somebody has the same word as you, you won't get those points. Now, also in this game, you are able to put more than one disc in one area. So if you think of multiple answers for one and you think maybe somebody else will guess that answer, you can put multiple discs in that area, but you only score points once for that. So I hope you enjoyed this overview of crossed words and I will see you guys next time.